Everybody, we're here with Brian Taylor, and today we're going to talk about our topic for the Barrel Racing Discussion Forum group, trading tip number two, which is on balance. Okay, Brian. Balance means being able to ride your horse correctly, having the right seat, hand position, staying with your horse, if it's for barrel racing, poles, reining, walking cow, or just for fun, trail riding, or you're taking an intro lesson. This moment we're going to talk about straw blinks, which affects the whole balance of you riding. Here we have her straws are too long. She doesn't have enough bend in the knee, which then keeps your butt down in the saddle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this up. There we went, too short, too much bend, and she's struggling to keep her heel down with her toe up, which is also going to increase her butt coming up out of the saddle right quick. Stand up for me. You do not want to have more than a hand height underneath your butt to the seat of your saddle. This will cause you to bounce up in a turn, be uncomfortable, might make it easier to trot, but you're going to come off one or the other. Get back down. The rule of thumb for checking the length of your stirrups is the stirrup should hit your ankle bone. Her ankle bone's about right there at the bottom of our store. How's that feel? This is a good fit to start with. Now, we may need to change it later, but this is where you begin. Stand up for me. See how much less room she has in her butt to stand up in? So she's going to sit this saddle much better on a bell torn pole or just chasing a cow through the pasture. Okay. So you're going to come into your bell, into your pocket. When you get to your check mark heel, you're going to set on your bottom and drive around the bell as balanced as you can, keeping your weight in the middle. Now come up and drive the two. Look up at me. Come into your pocket. Good. Now I want you to check and check. sit on your bottom. Look around where you're going to look up. Now rotate up a little bit and send her to two. Keeping the weight in the middle of your saddle while you're driving around the bell, checking and going to the next one is a very valuable part in balance. As you're approaching your bell, you want to be in the middle of your saddle driving your horse in. You want to be up, and when you come to your checkpoint, you want to sit on your bottom and come on around. Looking where you're going. When you're staying centered and balanced in your saddle, you are where you can pick and lift your horse up. Like, I need to drive this moment. I can stay forward, step or past the bell, and then sit on my bottom to come back on around. When you're riding and you're walking on your balance, find you a professional to go walk with. We practice balance in every time we ride in a lesson, in a barrel race, in a rodeo, in a rainy. Just remember, it's about riding before you run. Be able to keep your seat in the saddle, staying balanced, contributes to everything, driving, setting, handling, so again, remember to ride balanced before you go run. 